It's all about the grind. You're gonna go through like about, you know, 400 ideas before you settle on one good one. It's gotta resonate with me. So it's about listening, you know? It's more of a technical process than a creative process. It starts with the piano. And then that was the first thing I did. And then, okay, well, let's try a 4-4 beat. Okay, that sucks, that didn't work. And then try switching it up, getting a little more crazy with it. Add all the weird percussive elements, plug in the 303 to get the squelchy 303 lick in there. Layer it with some other synths so it's not quite 303. This track had a lot of really cool like sound design elements that lent itself to, you know, spatializing stuff here, there, everywhere. Keep most of it still front and center because you have to think of Atmos like you're looking at a movie screen, you know? So the action's up here, but if you have something like this spazzy thing, you know, it's like... That thing's just all over the place with some random LFO stuff. The pad is more of a a circular flyby. It's just mirroring and swapping the left and right image as it goes around. I think Atmos it lends itself to uh, really thin synths that just kind of fly around because they're so focally on top of a mix. For 15, 16, 17, 18. I'm hearing uh, something shaking and it's driving me crazy. That's what that is. Be the guitar. Yeah. Shit like that drives me absolutely crazy when I'm working. When we're done, we're gonna take it down to my Atmos enabled home theater system and monitor it there. This should be a good time. <laughs> <laughs> the moment of truth. more faith in Dolby figuring out that kind of proprietary format where people can deliver these Atmos mixes because Dolby has the most arsenal out there for people to enjoy the system on. So that was really cool to create, you know, cool Atmos soundtracks. I could just awesome my music in this now just as easily as I could with doing it in a stereo mix. I think that's gonna be my primary compositing technique is now is I'm gonna write the tracks in Atmos and then submix down to stereo.